So more trig, trig identities are called negative identities. So if you have, for example, the sine of pi over 6. So right here in this triangle, what is the y value for sine of pi over 6? Well, the y value is just 1 half. But if I do the sine of negative pi over 6, so now I'm starting right here and I'm going down pi over 6 right here, it's just a reflection across the x-axis. So this is the x-axis. It was right here positive 1 half, but now it's negative 1 half. So that kind of demonstrates our new, or our first negative identity, which is the sine of negative theta, and this can be in degrees or radians, is equal to the opposite of the sine of theta. So in this case, we did the sine of pi over 6. I showed you what that was. It's 1 half. So if you had the sine of negative pi over 6, it would be negative 1 half. Now, another next one I'm going to do is cosine. So let's start with cosine. So if we have cosine of pi over 6, the x value is root 3 over 2. But even if we do the cosine of opposite pi over 6, so now go down pi over 6, the x value is still the same. So it's still root 3 over 2. So our cosine negative identity is, if you take the cosine of opposite theta, or negative theta, you still get the cosine of theta. The x values are still going to be the same, whether you go positive, or whether you go up or down, it's going to be the same. So if you go negative 135, negative 135 is over here, It's still going to be the same as going positive 35. The x, 135, the x values are still negative. And then the last one is tangent. So if you have tangent of, we'll do tangent of pi over 4. So if you have tangent of negative pi over 4, so tangent of negative pi over 4, you're going to start right here. And the y divided by the x is going to be the same thing, but it's going to be um, negative. So that's going to be negative root 2 over 2. The tangent of negative pi over 4 is negative root 2 over 2. The tangent of positive pi over 4 is positive root 2 over 2. So all you're doing is just taking tangent of pi over 4 and making it opposite. So this, this identity is, the last one, is going to be tangent of the opposite theta or negative theta equals the opposite of tangent theta. So sine and, cos sine and tangent both have the same negative identities right here, negative angle identities, but cosine is different. And now I'm going to write out the cosine or the cofunction identities. So the cofunction identities are the sine of pi over 2 minus theta is the same thing as the cosine of theta. And the cosine of pi over 2 minus theta is same as the sine of theta. And the tangent of pi over 2 minus theta is the same thing as the cotangent of theta. So do you ever notice that when we're doing, when we're in a right triangle, so let's just draw a right triangle, a basic one. So if this is, um, this is angle A, this is angle B. I'll do a 2, 1, root 3 triangle. So when, you're, when we're talking about, if we did the sine of A, 
that's one half. This is this is right here is a 30 degree angle. So the sine of a 30 degree angle is one half. I'll write 30 instead. What was the cosine of the 60 degree angle? The one that's complementary to it. So these two add up to 90, 30 and 60. And notice if you take the sine of 30, it's the exact same thing as the sine of 60, which is still one half. Now you could go back and forth and do what's the sine of 60? So the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2, and that's the same thing as the cosine of 30, which is root 3 over 2. So what I'm doing is the sine of an angle A is the same thing as the cosine of 180 degrees minus that angle A. The sine of angle 60 is the same thing as the cosine of 180 degrees or not 180 degrees, 90 degrees, I misspoke, minus 30. So instead of writing pi over 2 right here, you can think it as 90 degrees as well. It's the same thing. Pi over 2 is 90 degrees. So sine of 90 degrees minus the angle measure is the same thing as the cosine of theta. So I can do a couple examples of this. So the sine of 42 degrees is the same thing as the cosine of oops, 48 because both of these add up to 180. And you can kind of see it on a unit circle too. Let's show on a unit circle. So if you, in, in radian mode, if you swing up um, pi over 6, this is the y value this is the x value. If you go, if you swing down here 90 degrees, see how the x value and the y value kind of flip. Let's change spots. The x and the y values flip. That's what's going on with here. And you can do that, you can prove the tangent by doing the sine over cosine.